Now we're going to talk about splicing feathers. So here are two examples of spliced feathers. Now these are done using two separate techniques. The one that I prefer and the one that I'm going to show you is this one here. This is actually two separate feathers and I've just got them held together with a piece of fletching tape. Though if you were to put these on an arrow, it's really simple. All you do is you cut your feathers to the length you want. So for this I've got this main portion cut to four inches and then an inch on the top. You put them in your fletching jig and then you run your glue or your fletching tape or whatever you want on there, put it on your arrow and you're done. I like it because the only points of contact are the or the only actual splices right here as long as the feathers will grip each other you don't have to worry about this part this part takes care of itself down here all you're really doing is just gluing this to your arrow now this method is a little more complicated but the result I will admit is a lot nicer because what I've done here is actually taken the feather off of the quill. I took the orange feather off of its original quill and then spliced it onto the quill of this blue feather. So this is a very nice splice. You can see you can hardly tell that it's spliced at all. It looks like this feather just went from blue to orange. And that's really what is the strong point of this. It makes a really nice looking feather. The reason why I personally don't like them though is because you have all these points of contact. If the splice fails then this is just going to fall off. Whereas with this you don't have to worry about the splice itself failing. If this falls off you had a problem fletching your arrow anyway. But these are just different ways of doing it. I personally like this, so that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are really interested in seeing this, I'll show you guys how I do a, a spliced feather like this. Just let me know in the comments if you guys are interested. So We're going to get started with this. So what's nice about this method of splicing is that you have two options. You can either start with a full-length feather which is what you would need to start with if you were doing the other type of splicing or you can start with two pre-cut feathers this can sometimes be easier because sometimes these are the only kinds of feathers you can find so first I'm going to show you how I do a full length feather well, it's really simple what you do is you take your your fletching clamp uh, you could make a simple fletching clamp it's really easy a really simple feather clamp all you do is you take your two feathers and this one I cut to four inches this one I cut to one inch to give me a finished five inch fletch so you just stick them together make sure that the bottom here is butted together right there and then you take your fletching tape or whatever you want for this with this method I use fletching tape because then it lets me handle the feather and then chop it. If you have a feather burner then you can just glue this straight onto your arrow shaft and you're ready to go. So I take my fletching tape, place it down, Okay, you just want to go ahead and make sure that it adheres well. Cut the end off. All right. And there's our spliced feather. And now what you do is you just kind of stick these two parts together and kind of run your fingers through the feathers or through this portion here. And there you go. Now it's come together. Now when you cut this, it'll have it'll blend very nicely so this is how you use a full length feather now the benefit to using a full length feather is that there's minimal waste if you were to do this you're going to end up with actually two spliced feathers or you could 
start throwing other finished feathers into the mix and you know you get a nice assortment so here's our one feather and our other feather you start with one of the feathers and you want to cut off an inch from the back so I've already got this measured out on my clutching clamp here. We've got one inch marked on the bottom. So I just go ahead, make sure I'm doing this evenly, and cut it. And now I have two parts. I'll take my other feather, place it into the clamp and I'm doing the exact same thing. Line it up, figure out where one inch is, cut off the back, there you go. Now Now you take the back end and the front end, so the back end of one feather and the front end of the other, and you place them into your fletching jig. Now that they're ready to go, you could put glue on here and just stick it on your arrow and it's ready to go. But since I like using fletching tape, I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on here. Now let's take the feather out, and you just got to go ahead, make sure everything lines up, get the feather to mesh, and here it is. So now I'm going to have to take a pair of scissors and just lightly blend these two together because it's not perfect, but you just do a little touch up work and it comes up looking really nice. All right, so I went ahead and ran this feather through the chopper. So here it is. And here's the other feather, now that I've just trimmed off this one little edge here. As you can see, they look pretty much identical. So either way you want to go, you can use either a full-length feather or a pre-cut feather. So now that these are done, I'm going to go ahead, let the arrow shaft finish drying, and then we'll glue these on, and we'll finish fletching them.